Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, um, I did a video on about the screw of wallet that I got, but I screwed up. So, um, not really an unboxing video, and but it gave me a good, it gave me you know some time to test it out as well too. So, um, here's my current wallet. These are just fake cards in here. Um, basically, this is a uh, Govo wallet. Um, there's a T4 titanium wallet that I have. And it served me well for, I don't know, maybe like three or four years, maybe even longer than that. Uh, it's been pretty beat up, as you can tell. I use it a lot. Um, I wanted something simple and minimalist. And this is the wallet that I went with. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty heavy duty. Plastic in the front, so like if you have a driver's license, you can put it in there and you can... Obviously, you don't have to take it out. You can show people. Um, and, you know, it, it's titanium in the back. I think this is a magnesium um, clip. You can clip it on to your shirt or you can put, you know, money, use it as a money clip. Um, you can also have this little hook here so you can have a lanyard so you can just hang this badge. If you, you know, your company requires you to have a badge, you can slip it in there as well too. Um, pretty good. Um, get it to get a card out. You, you have this opening right there, slide it and you have your card out, you pull it out. Um, there is, I don't know if you can see it, like a spring inside of it that gives it retention. And for the most part, it's pretty good. Your card doesn't slide out. Um, so I have uh, four like cards in here. Um, you can roughly only about put about four cards or maybe five, depending on the thickness of the card. Um, so this is what I use and this is what I like. Um, so, uh, I started, I saw, no, not started, basically I purchased the Groove wallet, it was on Kickstarter, and basically it's an aluminum, um, similar to this wallet, um, it's an aluminum, and I got it yesterday, and it comes in this, you know, case, nice little case, and uh, so it's lifetime warranty, like based on this, no BS, 94 year warranty. Uh, I mean, not a lifetime, but hold six cards, single thumb swipe, um, you know, you can read all this. But um, here's a wallet, it comes in this tin box, which is kind of nice. Foam padding on the inside. Here's a wallet, I'm gonna put this aside. I shouldn't whatever. Um, here's a wallet. It has a logo right there. Screws that hold stuff together kind of on the inside. You got this clip here. Um, you can use it as a money clip. And it has this like, this uh, card that it comes with. This is a fake credit. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just something like that they have in there. Okay. So in any case. So yeah. So you can slide it up and I'll bring the card in. So let me just show you how it is. So this card is, it's manual. I mean, you just have to do this to pull the card out. And I have just these temporary, like, you know, like uh, gift cards and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put it in here. And it's fairly pretty good. It, it fits the card and they're really nice. Uh, it doesn't come out, but it kind of makes a little noise. That's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, you slide it up and the cards come out, which is kind of nice. So, hey, I want to use this one, pull it out, you know, slide it up again. Oh, I want to use the Starbucks card. Okay, you know, whatever. So it's a nice, it's a nice little feature that has. Um, but I will say, this car, this, this, this thing by itself, I don't know, man. It's, it feels kind of flimsy. Uh, I think it's a nice design and they're trying to make it really light and thin, but I don't know. Uh, it doesn't feel as sturdy as this thing. This thing's a tank. Let me show you the weight. Hang on a second. Let me grab my, um, let me grab my, um, uh, my scale just to show you my, the weight. So here's a scale. Power on. It's in grams. Perfect. 
This weighs in with nothing in there at 80 grams. This is at 75. Okay, so not much difference, I guess, in weight wise. We're talking about a, I'm sorry, 74 grams. We're talking about a six gram difference. Okay. Um, thickness wise, fairly similar. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit thicker because you have that um, protruding clip. But this feels like a tank. I mean, like, I would not throw this on the ground, but I would throw this. And the worst that can happen is this is going to shatter. Um, I've dropped this many times, and this plastic has not shattered. Um, so, and you can buy replacement. This one, I'm pretty sure you can get replacements for it. Um, but this bottom piece is one whole piece, and you have this hinged, like this, this, I don't know, this, this thing is just to help it lock the cards in. But this top plate, I don't know if you can see that. It, if, it, I mean, there's some, there's some play in it, which is fine because you need to have it slide up to kick up the card. Um, but I'm not too crazy. I mean, I think the idea is great. I would like to see a more uh, higher tolerance on the finish, the fit. I mean, higher tolerance on the fit. Um, it's, it's it's pretty good. I mean, like I do like that function with just kicking it up, and the cards come out, which is which is good. And let's see if I want to take this card out, slide it in. It's good. I like that. Okay, but yeah, I'm not I'm not really liking that the material flex a lot. And I'm not saying that the material does not flex on the Govo wallet. I don't think it's going to fit. Actually, it will fit because this card's thin, but I'm going to take it out. Um, I'm not saying that the material doesn't flex on the Govo. The plastic part does, but this back piece is like super stiff. Um, there's some good chunk of uh, titanium on the back of this, so I do like that. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to use this um, Govo wallet, and I'm going to have to say most likely I'm not actually going to use it just because, I don't know, it just feels kind of flimsy in it, flimsy, and um, uh, I think it's a nice design, I just wish that also inside here if you look at it it's just like some kind of plastic which is fine but i wish the fit and finish was i had a tighter tolerance you know um like when it just it just rattles and everything and i don't think it's a bad like manufacturing or anything like that and i just think it's because they have to design it this way and if you want to keep things light you gotta mill it down i think they could actually leave a little bit more material uh on here to make it feel like it's more sturdy um this sliding action is okay um this texture is super smooth so you do feel like you're in sometimes you don't get a good grip but um after you use it a while i'm pretty sure you're gonna get some more traction on it just because it's gonna get scratched up and stuff um, I would like to see a titanium. There you go. It got stuck a little bit. So, I mean, it's, it, like I said, it's it's not a bad design. I just think they probably still got to perfect this a little bit. Um, if you guys are looking to purchase this, you guys might just want to try it out in person if possible. I don't know what their return policy. I don't know if they even actually have this wallet on their website or not. But that's just some stuff that you might want to think about. Um, I guess I will give this wallet a try. But, man, I'm telling you, I just love this Govo wallet. If they make another, like, plastic piece that would just extend out and let you hold six cards, I wouldn't give this a try at all. I just want six cards. Um, I just hold my driver's license, my license to carry, uh, two credit cards, and I, I would like to put my work badge in here, and another um, 
like a Starbucks card or gym card that I have in here. Uh, so six card would be great. I've been living with this for four with four cards, and that's been fine. Um, so, yep, um, that's just my thought. Um, not really a full review, but I had some time to play around with it, and that's just my personal take. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I just think that they could work out some of this, um, some of the stuff out. Um, you know, maybe it's just me. I just have a personal preference and I just don't like this. But anyways, I do like it. I think the overall look and finish of it is okay. It's pretty, I mean, look, it looks great. The finish of it is okay. It's, it's, it's above, I want to say it's pretty good, but, um, I think it could be better. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.